Hello everyone, this is Kulit with a basic UST fitting tutorial, both for CV and VCV voice banks. Fitting USTs to voice banks is very important in making the ETAU sound smooth. It will prevent CV banks from sounding choppy, and it will help VCV banks work correctly. With that, let's start with CV banks. I have opened a UST with my Utau Lizette. She is a CV voice bank and is currently unfitted to this UST. So here's what she sounds like unfitted. Very choppy. To fix her voice, select the whole UST, which is CTRLA, or you can go to Edit, Select All, uh, and then right click a note, and then go down to the last option. Hit this clear, and um, and set modulation to zero, and STP to zero. Modulation doesn't help with fitting the UST, but it helps f from making the Uto sound off tune. So hit OK, and then these buttons up here, click a C A C A C P T, then P two P three, and then click A C P T again. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that should make it smoother. So let's listen to it now. That was really ugly. Okay, what did we do wrong? Something went wrong in the modulation. Modulation should be set to zero. Um, I guess this is a good example. If something goes wrong, do it again. Okay, I'm just gonna clear the pre utterance and overlap again because I can. And then we're gonna ACPT those buttons. And then we're gonna let's do a shorter sample so it's not so long. Hmm. I hope this tutorial isn't too long. Oh yay, now it's see? Now the modulation helped it. So now it's smooth pretty much um there might be one more. did i already last play this um let's see scroll 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 let's see another important way to smooth out usts is crossfading this is good for smoothing out vowels and the n sound uh See this letter combination A oh, A E A E Um where I have my script <laughs> It's very separated and should sound more like I I I A E To smooth this out and all other vowels select your whole UST again and yeah. And then hit the B button on your keyboard. And then click crossfade. The second option. Hmm. I have all the vowels in hiragana. Um, and in wamaji. In this box. There's a, e, a, e, o, u. And 
then I have the n mm sound, and then you know the maji. But do not put the normal like ramaji n mm in the box, or else it's gonna mess up the na ni no nu and ne sounds, and that won't sound good. So pretty much just copy what I have here, and then hit OK, and then that's gonna smooth out these notes so now it's gonna be smoother hmm. uh, see it cross fades then so now it's smooth uh, okay now she's fully fitted to the ust here's the final project Pro product not project so this is all smoothed out mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's all fitted. Now for VCVs. For this, you need a VCV UST and a VCV voice bank. Right now, I actually have a CV voice bank with my Utau Ames. VCV voice bank. No. I have a CVUST with my VCV voice bank. There we go. And you can quickly make this UST into a VCV UST with a VCV or let's see, a UST diphonizer. Diphonizer. Um, and I can link to that somewhere else. Uh, but after using that, Here's what she sounds like unfitted. them to the UST they might be like static because of the envelopes being all messed up so to fix that do the same thing you did for the CV voice bank and since I already went through that I'm gonna go through it quickly uh, clear the pre utterance and overlap set modulation to zero stipulate uh, STP to zero I always thought it stood for stipulation but I'm not sure um and then ACPT, P2, P3, ACPT again. And that should fit her. It should fit it to the VCV voice bank. And this is what that sounds like. Ah, <laughs> And as you can hear, she sort of slurs her notes. So to fix that, we're going to go back to the voice, back, voice bank settings. Last option. You know, this box. And go right here. It's a uh, consonant velocity. Put 200 in the box, and that'll magically make everything better. I'm just kidding, but it helps. It helps with the slurring, because it sort of envelopes the notes, so there's more space in between them, and so it's more... I think you can hear that she's missing a note. Where is that? Uh, I think it's right here. Right here. She's missing a note. She's not singing that. And sometimes that happens when you use a diphonizer. It doesn't get all the sounds. So if you want to fix that, make sure you put a dash in front of the note and then a space. If that makes sense. 
then it should ma fix that. So the note plays. Maudaji. But then you're probably gonna have to like do the clear utter pre utterance. Oh, it's already cleared. So then just do the AC buttons. Do I have to reset the envelope? Hmm. Admin. Clear. And there you go. I hope you can follow all that. Sometimes I do things. Maudaji. Okay, and that's fit. That's how you fit things. Uh, so let's listen to the whole thing, I guess. This is how it's all done. Oh, we have an exclamation point. When you have exclamation points, you're supposed to right click on them and then go down to envelope, which is the one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth option. And see, the envelope is so messed up, so we have to click this button so it's not messed up anymore. Do that whenever you see red exclamation points, because that helps smooth out the USDs. Okay, I think that's it. Um, let's see, script, script. So that's the way to fit USTs. If you have any questions, just drop a comment. I hope this tutorial made sense, hardly. And I hope, okay, and I hope this can help you guys in making great Uto covers. Thanks for watching and check back for more tutorials from me soon. Yeah, okay, that's it. Bye everyone, I'm done with this. Hope that helped and Thank you for watching.